T-t-t-test it then! Yo, t t t testing it's me, Madness KMA. Spell it correct, don't get it twisted. The M A double D N E double S K M A on all platforms. And of course, DJ Madness official on Instagram, Pirate Chronicles series, and all the other platforms. Do make sure you follow us on the YouTube channel, which is the main platform right here. Like and subscribe, leave all the comments because all the interaction really does make a difference to the algorithm and more people can see the video content and your guys are out here working hard, myself and Big J, right here at Pirate Chronicles series. So anyway, hit the notification button so you can get notified at any time we drop a video right here on the platform and let's get into the video. You've read the title, you know what it's about. Wow, me, madness, KMA, after four years of saying I'm not DJing anymore, I'm done with it. I got the phone call and within the content world that we are in now creating content for the channel, I decided I'm going to do it this time. Let's just do a little piece for the content, for the culture, for the channel. Yo, t -t -t test it. Well, whatever, man. We're in the car. We're outside today. It's me, Madness KMA, and we're going on a journey. Now, here's how it goes, right? Some years ago, um, on my platforms, and I'll tell you about, I've, you know, come away from the DJ world, and, you know, I ain't doing that no more, and, you know, it wasn't me, because we're doing the Pirate Chronicles channel. Subscribe now, Pirate Chronicles series. Anyway, so we've been doing that, and more on the presentation style of that, and the DJ side, sort of, you know, I stepped out of that world, and it's actually been four years since my last DJ set so I get a phone call a, a couple months ago from um, a good friend of mine family tree uh, DJ Spoonie now he's doing an event that takes place at Butlins uh, Bogner Regis for a weekender and that's where we're going the invite was given and people I accepted after four years one off special today at Butlins we're about to do road today we've got um, my family members with me rolling my youth stem and we're out on the road and let's see how today progresses yo guys so it's been a while since my last DJ set four years before the pandemic in fact is when I left radio behind found a new path to travel um, I found different kind of happiness outside of music because after 30 plus years of doing radio and music you know you got to find other avenues because I just can't stick in one place all the time um, especially when you still got more creativity to boss you know? I know we just did the formal thing and the whole introduction and that yeah but I'll do the informal thing we're out here today we're on the roads you know like that we're taking it outside for you lot and I'm just along for the ride, didn't it? He's going for the music side, you know, like that. Oh, the Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. How are you feeling then? You good? You living you living the dream? Uh, yeah, I got so. zero friends. So anyway, today's vlog is a special one. It's a family vlog. At the same time, it's entertainment. At the same time, you can journey with me as you lot know me as Madness, as the YouTuber or the TikToker or Instagram person, guy, influence. I just do me. Um, this one was a special one because, because it's taking place at Butlin's Bogner Regis. Right, so the game that we know and we've played already twice, but we'll play it again because it's easy to play. There's no thought process behind it, you feel me? So it's how many can you name, yeah? How many can you name, yeah? On the road edition, but on the road, right? So, round one, yeah? Question. Nature, go. Trees, plants, animals. Nature, what? Flowers. She said, what's the one Fruits, vegetables. That's not how it goes. You're meant to go one for one. You're meant to go one for one. Still, but no, it's not because you went what? Nature, what? Nature, what? Right, ready? Take two. Round one. Winter. What? Cold. Snow. Ice. Snow. Snowman. Snow ski. Snow sled. Cabin. Cabin. Go. Uh, not fire. Fireplace. Cold. Is it cold already? Hey, the 
Kimmel is the winner, is the driver. Done now. Yeah, right. Kim is the winner. Done now. Yeah, done now. Right. Ready? So you pick the the the, 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 the question and we will go. Ready? Transport me. Huh? Transport. Motor transport. Bike. Car. Uh, feet. What? Feet. Walking. Motorcycle. Tram. Segway. Paracel. What? Paracel? No, not a paracel. I meant the thing that glides in the air, man. What's that? Yeah, a, a paracel. Yeah, paracel. There you go. Yeah, you can fly into the sky. A top top. Alright, uh. A skateboard. Uh, uh, roller blades. Electric school. Yeah, I don't know. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, you pick. It's me and Kim. Oh, friends. Oh, no. What? Why would you say it afterwards? Why does that make sense? What? But you're the one picking the subject. That you, you have to pick it for us too. Like you ain't been playing the game for two rounds already. You lose a point. You lose a point and instantly. So the one point you had has now been deducted due to, I don't know, signal failure. Let's just say, yeah, foolishness. Bro. Right. Start again. Train up brands. Nike. Converse. Ah, oh, come on, man. That took a bit long still. That took a bit long there still. That took a bit long. Right, ready. One more. Right. Um, summer. Sad. That is an instant fail, bro. Man couldn't even name one for summer. Not in the, not a beach, not a, I don't know, like ice cream, I don't know. Kids. Wow, man said kids. Summer. I mean, I would have took that anyway, so you should have said it. You know, like that. I would have took that anyway. Like, you know, like that. Right. So we tried to kill time and we are now at. One hour, 57 minutes. Big Madness KM8, veteran, all of that. T -t -t yeah, yeah. How you feeling about today? You're coming out of retirement, should we call it retirement? Is, is that what we're calling it? Because, yeah. It's not coming out of retirement, Big J. It's content day, is what I said. Um, because I'm within this year space that I've given myself a goal to raise 1,000 subscribers on the channel, even more than that. 10,000 would be great, and destination 1 million plus. Of course, this is how we do it. You gotta wish big, you gotta plan and prepare for the future. So content is everything for a YouTuber, as we know. Um, so this was an opportunity for me within this year that I'm not doing anything else but YouTube. Hey, how you feeling? Well, like I said, I got the invite to do it, and it was... Dad, no, who gave you the invite? Spoonie. Big up. Spoonie gave me the invite, because over the years, I've, I've since the last time, since I left the DJ scene behind, and then stopped doing radio and all of that, then it was the case of, I just decided not to do it again. It wasn't for me about certain things, and I just, my headspace was in a different place to what it is. But then, um, and you get invites over the years, over the years, you get invites, invites to do this, and people want to book you for that. And I've refused a lot over the world, hence the last four years. Until now, when it's a big garage weekend that which is taking place at Butlin's Bognar, I know what type of event it is. And within this year of trying to boost the channel up, it's a content day today for Pirate Girls. So um, do like and subscribe because we're doing, um, you know, bigger stuff as we progress on at each episode that goes past. Um, we just keep transforming into um, YouTubers as we are today. So um, yeah, we're just going to see how it is. I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm coming back to DJing. It's just a, a, a one-off special as it is today. Myself uh, alongside my uh, MC friend Viper on the set. So let's see how the day progresses on the set. Uh, 2 p.m. main stage. See you there. God no. No, we castle ends. Don't know. Off the read, just sit there. Bare hills and trees and villages. Yeah. Right, peoples. So we're nearly there. So very close. You know what I'm saying? So 
We're gonna shout you once we, you know what I'm saying? We'll let you see the settings and all them sort of things there. Man, setting up and get ready to play and show down the place. And yeah. You see, from here, right, I'm being reserved and um, and that's just me, that's the way I am. I don't get gassed, I don't get excited anymore. Maybe perhaps that was one of the reasons why I stepped out of the DJ world because it became so monotonous. And from the old school, there was no comparison because I come from the old school. You don't get gassed up at, at, at certain things because the vibe ain't the same. <laughs> What was even more weird to me as well is because I'm always the guy that's driving. So I'm usually in the driving seat most of the time when I was playing out in the past, uh, in all the decades, it's either my brother or me driving, right? Um, so this was strange and I have a weird experience because my daughter was driving me to a DJ set. Weird. Hi, uh, is, it, is this the, um, the DJ artist entrance? Okay, cool. Do you want to come out? Uh, madness, DJ Madness. Yeah. Don't know if I'm telling. We're live. We're on the set. We just arrived. Yeah, we just arrived at the premises right now. It, it looks different because usually when I came here before in the past, I've played there about three times and I've always come at night time, so it looks a bit weird. <laughs> There's the pack. We've got one wristband in there for you. Just want to pop that on. Uh, it um, should be three. Should be three. Yeah. Fabulous. Me um, plus two, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. On approach to the venue, so now your feelings start to get as any DJ would. Wristband, what are yeah, you going to expect one. now? Bearing in mind that it's a weekender and it's Butlins is scheduled for those people going specifically for that weekender or people at that Butlins that's just at a holiday resort. Fifteen minutes later. All right, so cool, so we've got a dressing room. All dressing rooms are backstage and must be vacated in 30 minutes on the conclusion of your performance. And what's the name of the additional two, sorry? Um, and Fabulous, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, do you know where you're going? Um, uh, no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so right, the easiest place to go would be, would you go through here, go straight down there, Yeah. take a right through the car park and follow it all the way back around and that'll be the backstage areas. Right. That'll be back of centre and reds. I can try and get someone ready and waiting there for you and they can take you through to your dressing rooms. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Thank oh, and you. these passes do go backstage as well, don't they? Uh, those ones don't. You're down as red ones, oh. but I will put them, I'll radio it through and I'll see what you can do for you. Yeah, because... Down as red, so that's all I can give here. Right. But I will radio through to my manager and see if someone can meet you. Yeah, it's essential because they're my camera crew as well, so... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just explain that to her. Yeah. She'll have the white ones there. We'll see if we can swap them around. Lovely. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Oh, see ya. <laughs> way the layout is is that people will go to the earlier shows it was set at like from uh, 12 o'clock i think it was till about 6 p.m then it closes they go for dinner they come back after that and then the last late show which is um from about 7 30 or something like that so i was on the first part so i'm not sure what to expect is sunday is everyone going to be there they've been raving from friday and saturday now i know i've been in the past if i was out at a holiday resort for example i'm not necessarily going to the show so all these things are going to my head i'm thinking that if it was me i'll probably go to the late show what do i expect is it going to be round is there going to be people there people so we arrive just trying to find a parking the vip but once we find a parking spot all of them things there set up oh, man, looking mad for the wind wait do my air all of that then we'll get back to you feel me so you heard what the lady said right go up do saw, go around saw, and then saw. We did that. Man, it took us ages, I ain't gonna lie. Walking inside now, you're liable to hear some beeline, some music coming from inside the building it should be shaking right now right um so the anticipation is is it a full crowd as yet i can't wait to get on stage and perform the way i should be with all these years of experience it's like going back to school as a teacher right and then you go back you still got that knowledge and luckily enough the skill set still stands as different to many of those that's out there today yeah!
So this is a good part that I've always been used to anyway, um, but it was good for my kids to be able to see how you get treated as an artist, as um, not just dad, you know, for a different set of respect that I do have out there for people because I'm always respectable and humble uh, in the way I carry myself and treat everybody the same on the level. So I say hello to people, I shake hands, I'm polite um, and respectable because manners of respect can carry you a long way. People, we're live and direct, fam. We're in the building, done now. Listen, we've got buckle on buckle, and yeah, they're treating us nice. Yeah, treating us nice. There's some spots in the background filming. Come on, out here. And chat to the people, man. Yo, people, so here we are. <coughs> Yo people, so here we are backstage in Butlins, Bognor Regis, um, as you can see behind, well you can't see behind, but yeah. Anyway, so we're in the back, in the green room right now, ready to go on stage. Uh, it's Sunday, they've opened up the arena just now for main stage, but a lot of people go home on a Sunday from the weekend up. Got free Twix fam, I'm living the dream. The man said, Twix, you know. Yeah, 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 we're going to pop in the... Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't know who the bottles are though. Oh, I need a Red Bull. Yeah, I have a Red Bull. Mm -mm. Got Red Bull, got fan art, yeah, bear juice. Give you a little boost. And this is all what I requested on the rider. I said, yeah, some water, some Corona. So we'll see. So as we walk into the room, again, it's a nice thing to see. They had a nice spread layout for us. We had drinks on tap. We had um, we had bottles. We had drinks there. Just the thing is, I'm not a drinker. So a one Red Bull is way outside of my league. It's usually just water or some squash or something like that. Uh -uh. Walking backstage now, we're trying to find the stage door to enter. I'm hearing this beeline rumbling, it sounds nice. But I played here before about three other times over my years of DJing, but that was actually as a host. I was hosting with the Dream Team. So big up Spoonie once again, Timmy Magic and Mikey B. Some of the first videos that I ever produced as um, with content out there in Clubland was actually Butlins. It's on my music channel, Madness KMA on YouTube. So I'm walking through now. I'm looking out for where I'm gonna go. They got these big curtains there, so it's like, okay, cool. So there's people coming in ones and twos, threes and fours. It's slow paces because it's Sunday afternoon. The last main show section was later on in the evening. Like I said earlier on, we was doing the first part. Uh, big up to DJ SP, uh, who was on before me. Sounded nice, sounded good, nice big stage. And me coming back as well. Um, I don't like DJ sets where the booth is crowded or people are around. And You know, I like to be able to spread myself because <laughs> I'm not a small dude, but at the same time, I, I bust my DJ moves, right? And I need space to do that. So you need to just step away from me when I'm on stage and it was nice to have that spacious type of big stage as well to return back after four years um, is it a return though let's see Yeah, this is a power of the 
times now it's usually uh, back in the day you'd be going up to get your records selected making sure you've got them in the right place in your box or and also always listening out to what the DJ before you is playing so you know not to play those tunes or play an alternative to the mixes that he played or she played um, so at this stage now it's going through my head what I'm gonna do go up there and set up um, I've already got a rough idea in my head pre preparing for an event like you should do anyway for big events is always have your certain dub plates lined up um, specifically tailor-made for that venue <laughs> Still finding it so weird in today's world of going out and DJing and, and you ain't got your record bags, you ain't got your big fat CD pouch because my CD pouch came like my record bag, it was the same. Heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. So all I had was two memory sticks and my headphones. Good to go! Yes. Changing into the sound of DJ Madness. Big shout out to the weekend. Uh... Here we go. Ladies, I love you for getting right in the center when you didn't have to. So lots of respect to that. Yo, you might as well get the space while you can before you get packed out in. So I get familiarized to the equipment. You can't forget it no matter how old you are or how long you haven't been DJing. Yes, you might be a bit rusty. Yes, you might be a bit out of touch. However, if you was always ready, you stay ready. Oh, man, there's a vibe right now. Listen, listen, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure I'm gonna get a lot of money to make sure Although I had Viper on the set, so usually in the past, any time me and Viper have a DJ MC set combination, it's fire. It's dangerous, I'm telling you, because he fires lyrics, so I have to fire as well as a DJ. And that's how it always has been in the past. So today I'm thinking, okay, I'm the vocal this set is going to be mostly vocal I know Viper knows his music too and I know how he will compliment it and he did with the crowd that was there you'll see he works along with it when you hear it on the audio um, making fun with them banter getting them some of the guys started emceeing with them as well And it's nothing it's it's like riding a bike you don't forget how to ride a bike you don't forget how to walk DJing to me is like walking how did you forget how to walk unless there was something serious so no matter how my headspace um, stepped out of the DJ world for the last four years um, coming back into it the knowledge was always there and it only grew with more wisdom as you get older anyway so I just implemented that in the set from this Sunday right here Young Madness Viper, I like the energy, I've got no reception in here, what's going on? Come on! Is there no reception? What, what? Madness Viper? Nah, that's not gonna work. Oh, you lot are Hey, reload that, reload that! Oh, you know that in your venue and you've woken up and you've had your sausage, beans and egg this morning, can you make some motherfucking noise, please? Oi, oi! Thank you, your belly's full, let's get with it. Alright, that's a big one. Who done that remix? 
Look at that. Big J got the footage right there on camel works throughout the day and uh, done a great job because look at that main stage. And I tell you what, it was such a pleasure to be up there playing the elements of house and garage that I know the crowd needs uh, from the early stages to the main event. No matter what time it is, I will give it what it should be at that time. That's a DJ. <laughs> for example is another thing that I've seen and observed over the years when you see it on social media of the festivals and whatever it is and my peers and associates that are playing still on main stage and yet I still don't hear an education in music I still find the house and garage music which is such a wide catalogue is still based around the top 40 of UK garage hits as people know it it doesn't mean that that's what's going to bust the dance only and how dare you as an ex DJ come and play the same tunes as he did before come better than that we come from a school of freak and let me tell you we grafted in the house and garage scene yeah we love this music it's not just playing anything about the top 40 and choose from the same record box and you've heard that story and joke over the years people play from the same box not me I could play the same tunes play it different remix them you can mix around with stems now you have modern technology and AI equipment which I well welcome inside the music game because you could be so much more um, because there could be so much more to your DJ sets today is what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I mean? Be creative. Um, and there's only a handful that you could say are actually really, really creative in house and garage. Name them. Comments down below. Who's your favorite DJs that are still doing it today in the genre of house and garage? Who's popping? Who's really on stage putting it down? Because the footage that I see is a handful to say, yeah, that's a vibe. Like I'm saying, that's a perfect example, playing a revamped version of a classic like Rosie Gaines and playing tunes like that, um, other stuff there that I slipped in there from Champion and Etta Bond and Double S. It makes sense. You can play these kind of tunes in a big dance today and bust the place. Go with a baseline tune on your answer, which is your next mix. And there you go. You can have a vibe that's different and use those stems, man, because it's so creative. Um, concluding with Viper for the next hour is sticky. 
bad boy producer. I highly, highly rate and recommend him from all the years as his um, foundation work that he put in and his lane of UK Garage. Um, so we must say enough respect. Guys, we're recording a set, you know. Instagram, give me the just finished off the stage uh done the filming that got the content that was relevant for today as you can see today i hope you've been enjoying it uh, as we stick a pin here do make sure you like and subscribe leave a comment down below was you there at butlin's bogner regis this year for a house full of garage presented by dj spoonie and was you there for my set breathe a bit first time back in four years it just felt like it's like you can't say to a driver after after four years you go in the car and you can't drive it's something you just know what to do so apart unfortunately the crowd wasn't with us today because a lot of people left early on a sunday for check-in check out i don't know where that goes already um and then they've got the later show which is the final show of the weekend so i assume that everyone's gonna be waiting for that one anyway big up the team anyway maximum respect to dj spoonie for having me down like i said it's a one-off exclusive i just come out dip my toe in the uk g field and back out again you know what i mean catch us on power chronicles that's where it's happening that's what he's doing make sure you like comment and subscribe man because that's what we need right now get the subscribers up we need to roll to 1000 right now hit the notification bell you know what's going on and so much more in store for you i'll catch you back in a bit yeah so in conclusion, it was a great day out. Uh, a different experience for me, stepping back into the DJ world um, after the last four years out of the game by choice. Mindset is different. So I stepped back into the DJ world and what did I experience? A good time. We had a good time and it was especially different because I could share it with my kids because they were there with me. Um, shout out to Big J that was on the camera works and uh, my daughter for driving and keeping us safe as well. Uh, big up to DJ Spoonie, all the teams that was down there behind the scenes at Butlins as well. Really, really nice people. And the emails all at the Leisure Group as well. Respect, maximum respect to all those locked on and make sure you tune in for more on content right here on the channel, YouTube Pirate Chronicle series.